Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about Project Veritas and uh, their undercover sting operation they did with a Pfizer employee. Uh, this is Jordan Tristan Walker. He is a Pfizer Director of Research and Development, Strategic Operations and mRNA Scientific Planning. Uh, wow, that is a title. I'm so glad my title is nothing like that. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to watch a quick bit, uh, clip from that because uh, this has been trending on Twitter and uh, Project Veritas, I guess, is going to be releasing uh, videos here and there. But the other interesting thing is, is that yesterday there was Pfizer documents released as well that also have to do with this video. And I'm going to show you those document, uh, one of the documents. Now, if you want to see the document for yourself, you can go down to my disc, uh, down into the description of the video. I'm going to, I have my discord in there and I upload it into the eight tip request section. So essentially when you join the server, uh, it puts you into that section because I haven't developed my discord yet. And uh, also down in the description is going to be where you can, uh, a link to where you can download the Pfizer documents, uh, a link to Project Veritas, uh, the, this tweet that I'm going to be talk, showing you the video of, and some other things. So go check out my description of my video. And uh, anyways, let's get into this before we get any further in. And uh, yeah. Something irregular about their menstrual cycle, so people will have to investigate that down the line. Yeah. Because well, that is a little concerning. It actually shouldn't be interfering with that, so we don't really It, it shouldn't? It shouldn't, my God. But is it? There's something happening, but we don't know if we're Well, I mean, you're a urologist, so you must understand, like, what's going on with it, right? Like... Well, that's why I understand that it's weird. I hope we don't find out that, like, there's somehow this mRNA, like, lingers in the body, and then it, like, has... Because it has to be impacting something hormonal to impact menstrual cycles. Yeah, or, like, the entire next generation is, like, super... Oh, could you imagine the scandal? Oh my god, I'd be I'd take Pfizer off my resume. All right. So there he's talking about, you know, imagine the scandal and stuff like that if uh, the mRNA lingers and causes, you know, fucked up generations and stuff like that. And that's the part that I want to focus on. Now, in terms of the menstrual issues and stuff like that, uh, I think it was like June, July of 2021 is when uh, doctors were noticing that things were changing in people and but that kind of stuff was being silenced and then you know then the government came out and was like oh you know um it doesn't cause for uh, fertility issues and all these other things and you know it, it doesn't matter the, the fact of the matter is something was happening and we need to talk about that and so i made a video around that time and i was talking about this and people were coming out in the comments section being like yeah everything's messed up um you know and, and you know people got a little into their medical thing which i didn't need to know but you know i mean for for research purposes it's good to know and they're talking about, you know, their issues and stuff like that and how things changed. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Pfizer document now. And, uh, oh, right. Sorry. I don't have this quite set up properly yet. All right. So in regards to the Pfizer document, so this section is page 33, um, three, 33, 34. So a combined fertility and developmental study, uh, of the different vaccines. Now, this one right here is the one that I believe is being used right now, uh, not the other two. So to give you a quick rundown of this, so essentially they took 44 rats um, that were administered with saline or the mRNA, which is 30 micrograms, I think that is, or whatever it is. Uh, that's the same dosage for adults, as we all know. And they give them in intramuscular injections for a total of four doses, 21 days and 14 days prior to mating, and um, GDs on the... 9th and 20th i forgot to double check what that what that acronym means anyways but what we'll do is we'll take a look down here and so here's the chart so this is the neutralizing antibodies that they were looking at so i believe this is the serology test and this is probably talking about the what is it the titers uh yeah so the titers um might be the spike protein antibodies it, it doesn't specify in regards to the other serology tests that I talked about on my channel here. Uh, it doesn't really specify which ones they would be. But anyways, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is you can see that the, the shot does something. And the interesting thing is, is what it actually does, right? So prior to mating, you know, you get that big number. Awesome. 
and then the number goes down a little bit that's fine and you know they gave four doses in here just remember that and so gestation day 21 this is what the the mother had and then lactation day 21 that's also what the mother had um but then fetuses gestation 20 day 21 so this is while the while the pup was still in the mother and i believe the test of the pup because I, I think actually in this test, they, they euthanize some of them to test their um, test things while they were like before the babies were born. Um, I, I think I read that somewhere else. Um, anyway, so 640 for the antibodies that were transferred to the baby. And then the pups had the 4561, um, you know, antibodies per blah, 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 right? Like there's a that number means something when you put it into the proper context. They don't have the proper context for me to tell you what it actually means, but you can see the numbers are more than five. So the pops, um, this was transferred to them. Now it, it's also not clear if it was transferred through breast milk or if it was, uh, transferred through just gestation, right? So that's also not very clear here. Uh, but when we're looking at this, we can see that the pups did not have a shot and they ended up having the neutralizing antibody. Um, now, in regards to what he's saying, that's in regards to what the Pfizer ex is that, eh, Pfizer director guy, uh, Tristan Walker, whatever. In regards to what he's saying, essentially, they don't know what the outcome will be. And imagine the scandal if that transfer that we can see in the Pfizer documents actually ended up being something that would uh, cause future issues, right? So sure, there's no fertility issues we know of right now, other than people's menstrual cycles being kind of damaged and maybe not being properly, not happening properly, et cetera, et cetera. But we don't know what it's gonna do for the children, right? Uh, so that is quite important to understand because we don't have any of that data and we won't have any of that data of, until the children hit puberty, which is between, uh, nine and 13 usually. Uh, I mean, well, that's actually a pretty broad, broad number. I think it's more 10 to 13, but to give you an idea. So, I mean, it's going to be another 10 years approximately before we know whether or not these, um, vaccines and that transfer of antibodies uh, if it transferred anything else and if that ended up affecting anyone now i haven't found any data that of anything else to support that theory or anything like that so this is take it with a grain of salt uh, but this is what i found and i just want to get it out there to make sure everyone is aware that there is some information out there just you have to go searching for it so like i said down in the description i'm going to have all the links and everything that you're going to need to be able to see what I'm talking about right now. There is more information on all of this that uh, you can go through as, your, as well. And uh, you, well, before I say my ending, um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd very much appreciate it. I am trying to bring this news to everyone and a couple of subscriptions or likes or comments here and there really do help out. Now you don't have to, obviously I'm not your mother. You don't have to do what I say or I guess I'm not, I'm not Trudeau, so you're not uh, mandated to do what I say, <laughs> but it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, you have a one to miss day.